guys in this one we're down in Fiordland and it was the best spear fishing trip I've ever been on the best video I've made as well so if you do enjoy it like and subscribe it's a small channel so any liker and subscriber is much appreciated Hit that cray with a speedy grab, it was backing up in its hole, and that's an awesome first crayfish for the trip. Epic scenery around here, lots of kinna, lots of crays, clear water, awesome. We're in another spot here, diving down to about 15 metres. That's where we found a lot of the crays were hanging out especially in good numbers like this. Crayfish porn really. It's hard when there's that many, you wouldn't believe it, but you almost don't know where to shoot your hands to grab them. But it's okay, if you miss one, there's normally another one there for your hand to grab anyway. Nice double grab. That's a bit better. Yeah. Just moving through that fresh water layer there, which is pretty standard for Fiordland. So much rain here, metres a year. This was one of my favourite dives of the trip. One cray, second cray goes under my arm. Missed that third one. But there's one right there for the taking. Back through that freshwater layer. Triple baby! One! Pretty stoked on that, personal best, three crays in one dive. This tataki here comes too close, hit it with a good shot, but managed to shoot a rock right behind it. So back down I go, had already been down there for a little while. Slightly low on breath here, but not dangerously so. Managed to get tangled up, make it back to the surface relatively problem free. These fish are so delicious. My favourite eating fish of the trip. Big Tarakihi coming cruising through. Didn't get the shot away on that one. Now we move over to James's camera. an awesome crack full of crayfish. All these crays would be well over legal and just so abundant. And the kinner as well, just everywhere. 
Iceberg Moki just cruising through. Deciding not to shoot that one. And putting an awesome stone shot into that one there. James was shooting so well Ultra, putting the rest of us to shame. Had an awesome swim with this guy here, a carpet shark. Couldn't seem to care less about what we were up to. Just mooching along. You can see the craze down there in the background as well, and the tarakihi. We found this awesome blue cod spot, line up on this one, see a far bigger one in the background. And end up getting neither, should have shot the small one. Still would have gone about 45 centimetres, they get quite big down here. Little one right up in my face. Back on the same spot, grunting to attract the fish, setting a little kin of early. Nothing this time. So I send the kinner just a little bit further down and see if that works. Heading down again, this ledge is probably about 10 metres deep, and there's a nice cod sitting on the burley. My GoPro was off, turns out it wasn't, so I turn it off, turn it on again, and by that time the, the cod spooked a little bit, but comes back around for a second shot, and boom, finally get a shaft into it. Again, looking for another cod. This is a big terekehi that uh, swims right past me here, but I'm on the cod hunt. I think I should have shot that fish. It would have been the biggest one I shot all trip. Cruising around the same area. Crayfish right out in the open. Nowhere to go shallow hole and just like that James again getting some awesome footage this is black coral um, only really found in these shallow depths in Fiordland due to the freshwater layer. Awesome plant, can grow up to 400 years old. Those black things on its stem are worms and they live symbiotically so they help each other out. Here's Nick scoping out some crayfish spots. Sneaking in next to him, and this cave was just full of crayfish. Not huge, legal, but not massive. But the numbers were just silly in this, this area. On this dive, only a few metres to the right of where I was on the last dive. This cracks even even more loaded. Once again, too much choice. End up grabbing the cray after a little bit of a struggle. That was a good one, nice and decisive. Hit my leg on the kinder on the way out.
This spot was pretty epic. Lots of big mochi schools. And these copper mochi. Very, very cool to see. First time we'd seen them. Deciding not to shoot these ones. Apparently they taste very similar to a regular mochi or a blue mochi. So let the rare ones live another day. We set up a Kinnaburley in another spot. So many fish coming in here. All different types. Think about shooting this one, decide against it. Back on James Cam, lining up on Little Blue Cod. Don't think he was ever going to shoot that one. But very dangerous to be a Tarakihi. Another lovely stone shot. Nice big buck crayfish sitting out in the open. His mate taking up the hole and a nice grab. Another nice shot from Jimmy. We headed out of the sound and came across these very cool albatross. Big, big birds. There's me coming up from a dive. James heading down to have a look at this cray. These seals were super fun to play with. Pretty friendly, unlike the sea lions we tend to get here in Dunedin. Heaps of fun just cruising with them. Heading down again to scout for some crays. Awesome territory this. Lots of big boulders. Good healthy kelp. Down again, this time actually getting onto a cray. This one's super deep in its crack. Bit of a long shot. Shoot in, swing and a miss, but caught some kinna spines. This seal was super inquisitive. Showing off a wee bit. Pretty awesome to have them coming this close.
This cray was the biggest one of the trip and it was in two meters of water. Unbelievable, after diving 15 meters for a few days, got this one in two meters on the last day and the boys are stoked. Mm -hmm. We found this awesome underwater cave. Full of power. And we thought there might be some crays in here too. And we were right. I've spotted the uh, second biggest cray of the trip here. And I head down pretty deep in the crack, get a good hand to it, wrestle it out, and finally, Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, it's a small channel so every person that likes and subscribes is um, much appreciated. Lots to come in the next wee while, and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.